Good morning, investors. This is the Jet Life bringing you AVIX, the AVIX Technologies Incorporated. Our last trading day was Monday, June 4th. We saw a previous close of 0.0110, but we opened 0008 lower than that at 0.0102. However, we were able to make that money back and close right where we had uh, left off the day before, giving us a 0% gain. However, we did trade a considerable amount of shares uh, at 382,405 of them. Uh, got lots of signs with AVIX. I think we're going to see a really big day when the market opens. We've got a couple indicators I want to talk about and uh, lots of different aspects of this chart I want to talk about with you. Our 14-day RSI itself is at 47.31. Nothing very exciting here. We're on pretty neutral ground, have a lot of room to grow before we uh, bypass that 70 and get into that uh, bullish region or that oversold position. Um, our daily charts down here have got a couple signs I want to talk about. Our parabolic SAR in gold, these little dots underneath the candlesticks. Those are telling us that it's a bullish indicator there and uh, we are also in an uptrend. Also, there's these resistance lines I want to talk about. We've got one really strong one here at about 0 0.020. We've been coming up and hitting that ever since February and that's really going to be the line to beat. We had another resistance line at right about 0 .010 that we had been fighting at the last part of May. We overcame that though and uh, we're headed up to that 0 .02. I like to think that we have another resistance line, a descending one, giving us a descending triangle pattern here coming from the very end of April and into May. All the way down to today we came up and touched it and I think we're going to break through that if we get enough volume today when the market opens. Speaking of volume, we've had really consistent uh, trading and uh, that's always a good sign. That's very enthusiastic. Uh, very optimistic uh, chart right there. Our MACD is bullish. Our MACD line just crossed over the signal line. It's only uh, double zero one points above, but that's uh, still above and it's still bullish. Our ADX is telling us that we are in an uptrend, which we confirmed by looking at the candlesticks. However, the ADX line is at 15.14, letting us know that this is a weak trend. But that's not always bad. Weak trends can be moved either direction with minimal effort. So with enough buying and enough strong buying, we could see this uh, uptrend uh, just go even further. We're going to see a continued uptrend if we get the right amount of buying. Our tricks graph here leveled out, which is a good sign. We're not, we're not decreasing and I actually think we're on our way back up. We're going to be crossing over that signal line within the next couple of days, if not today, if we get enough buying. Our PVO is above the zero line and its signal line, giving us another bullish indicator. Our slow stochastics is on the uptrend, very sharp uptrend at that. And we're coming up to the 50 line, have a long way to go before we start seeing our maximum possible prices. The CCI graph here is uh, right in between its two, uh, two lines there, right between 100 and negative 100. It's at negative 21.51. Much like the RSI, not a lot to talk about here. It's got a lot of room to grow before we uh, need to start worrying about that chart. Our money flow index is at 53.66. That's a very strong uptrend. It's read very similarly, similarly to the RSI as well. Uh, very good signs there. Uh, the money flow index is a momentum indicator that determines the conviction in a current trend, and it measures the strength of the money going in and out. So it's seeing uptrend and a very positive, very strong, solid uptrend uh, as well at 53.66. That's always a good sign telling us that we have strong buying and uh, lots of conviction in this buying. Our check in money flow is underneath showing us poor buying in the last few days. Uh, last, Yeah, quite a few last days. But the good news here is that we've seen an increase in positive buying. We have an uptrend formed and we've been hanging on to that. And it's a pretty steep one as well. Uh, that's letting us know that we're going to see really strong buying uh, in the near future and that we've had strong buying in the recent past. Accumulation and distribution confirms that with a new uptrend forming. Uh, this uptrend here on the accumulation distribution matches pretty nicely with the check and money flow, letting us know that we had really nice buying that day. And uh, that is going to continue to help us reach those new levels that we're looking for with AVIX. Lastly, our on-balance volume is also in an uptrend. We leveled out these last couple days, but that's uh, that's all right. We've seen uh, lots of growth after we dropped down in September. Um, we're going to see lots of positive signs here, I think, today. Uh, lots going on here on this chart. I talked about a lot. If you have any questions or comments, want to talk to any of us about AVIX, feel free to do that over on the iHub boards. Just search JetLife. Also, make sure you subscribe to our newsletter at www.jetlifepennystocks.com. As always, we will see you on the boards and have a good day.